Okay. What do you want? Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you First for asking. Girl before. I'm Betty. Betty, Betty. Bunbrook. I know. Everything is not all right. It's my dear friend, Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. Her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. Yeah, why does she sound like a Dexter sister? To help her, a little bit. She seems to have gone into hiding, out of fear, I'd imagine. I, I think this Scot Scottish a fair bit about accent. For beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. I'll keep an eye oh, out maybe to my world. unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And okay. although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire hair. I kind of want to see it, too. But, you know, we're here. Oh, my God, spoilers. <laughs> I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. Oh, that doesn't sound good. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Okay. Here we are. What the fuck? I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Oh my there God. she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Hey, man. Poor thing must be worried sick. I wonder if what is worth. She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. that dude how charming they keep in touch with each other Sighted. 
this. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Jeans love sheep. How lucky for us. <laughs> Watch your step. Just raring for a fight. Hopefully, we don't have to fight it. I eat that shit. <laughs> She's leaving quickly. Brilliant. There's the net. We're almost there. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair it. Exactly. Make it out without too much fuss. Uh oh. Thing has shit ton of scars. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever she left us perfectly unharmed? People don't give creatures enough credit. She tried to kill us. She didn't try to kill creatures us. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about what? dragons again. I don't know, but I'm ready to head back. I'm not ready to leave. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. What do you mean? What's going on? How could I have been so blind? Um, you're not going to talk about it? <laughs> I need to look. Wait, what? Finish your sentence, man. Where am I? Oh, 
Oh, perfect. It is wonderful to see you back here. Oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? There we go. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. Okay, um, I think we gotta talk to Sebastian again. Okay, Sebastian, and then we have to talk to her too. Oh, that's not the, that's not far. We could do that one. I wonder what we're supposed to do now. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Beldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. That she was Solomon against. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? That she was against us doing our shit. Sebastian. I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. This is more complicated than we thought. We can do this. We just need to get Anne to the catacomb and work out how to make a dark sacrifice. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Riva, I should leave you to it. Might your uncle report us to the ministry? Good luck with Ominous. Yeah, and fuck the ministry. And I'll take them on. I shall <laughs> let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. All right. So, who's next? It's probably uh, that one girl about looking for uh, more evidence. Oh, hold on. Surprisingly, these things are are fun to, to do. Yo, where's my upgrades, man? It's been, what, hours since I've done an upgrade to my Burma, man? Yeah, it's gotta be her. Okay. So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matebeleland, father would still be with us. Whoa! I must get to that class. That is crazy. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. 
She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Oh, so we could change into animals? Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she well, that claims is true. that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? Oh, you man. could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> my mother cannot know where I am all the time. Oh my god. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. I feel like her mission is going to transform into her getting captured while being in that form. I mean, I guess we could do this. Speak with Emilia Reyes. Okay. But the question is, where is she? Uh, Hogwarts, maybe? Wonder what Deke wants to talk to me about. The Phoenix? No, no, no. Uh, I need to attend History of Magic class. Talk oh, what the fuck? What? I wasn't that anywhere. Um, okay. Apparition charm. Oh my she was never seen again. Perhaps she succeeded. I suppose we'll never know. In today's lesson, we will oh, cover Jesus. a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion <laughs> of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard Milling. Throughout the many goblin battles, oh, go. countless wizard cloaks were lost. <laughs> this is literally me in Actually, fucking school. <laughs> we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional... One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to fuck? the bell tower entrance hall. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, and, uh, welcome. 
No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Bragbor? Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lodgog said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Now, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft, another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Holy shit. Uh, down here? I like the field guy. Where is the field guy? This Down there? smudge is rumored to be the location of the very first. Oh, I see it. But hold on, there's something over here. This is a centuries old incendiary. I find that comforting. Revelio. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, that chick. So you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buddle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. <laughs> Oh my god. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower right now. is a retinue <laughs> of loyal knights, or rather, statues of knights, I should clarify. Keen-eyed students will spot the statue of Sir Athbuddle of the cheerful countenance nestled among the ranks. What the fuck? Nor by slaying blood At least we're out of the classroom. <laughs> Where his warm and approachable demeanor was celebrated by Abandoning old friends. Abandoning class Luke to wander the halls is in keeping with Professor Binns's manner of teaching. to make the waving statues acquainted. Professor Binns, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide. Mourning the loss Holy snorefest, dude. Oh my god. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. Mm. History does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. Why students such as yourself will learn from it. Oh. <laughs> History oh my God. is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. 
Or at least, I like to say that. Get me out of here. Looks like we've all gone on another one of Binz's wild goose. How can we do so much and accomplish so little? <laughs> I don't think we've been here, right? Revenia. What the fuck is this area? Music class. Okay. Hmm. The bells must be upstairs. Hello, what? to do oh she's out here Wait, what is this one though they put her in the back of the library is apparently very upset it might be worth looking into You're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart Damn. looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. 
others who hate the poachers enough to help us. Teacher? We value creatures as much Merlin's as... beard! Your genius! The centaurs! They'd ah. want the snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. Okay. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. <gasps> oh. Okay, so a resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Right now we're looking for uh the bitch <laughs> Rebellion. The chick that has been on on our tip about uh racing and all that. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Has it been so far uh we haven't been updated with the the quest shit, the main story shit. So I'm assuming <sighs> Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the second best Slytherin. Okay. I'm assuming I have to do the side missions to progress. Hello, Melda. So it's funny because trial? it is a <laughs> Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good for nothings who usually challenge Jesus me. Christ. Well, they sit around and hope to be the best. I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. I got it. <clears throat> the first try was literally when I first started playing the game. Y'all done fucked up. Okay. Tee up, tee up, tee up, tee up. Brilliant. Brilliant. Tee up, 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 tee up. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm losing control. Oh my god, oh my god. Tee up, tee up, tee up, tee up, tee up. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so wiggly. So wiggly. Yeah. Halfway through. Oh! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck. Made it. Fuck. Damn it, I only got one, damn it. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. A minute left. Come on. Come on. One more. Come on. Three more. Oh, fuck. I missed. I'd say that was acceptable. One more. 30 seconds, approximately. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. The champion. Time to hear her cry. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. <laughs> yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But, you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We'll see, won't we? Till next time.
I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. Hey, Les. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. No, I got the best one. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Oh my god, of course. I've heard. <laughs> of course, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay so right there finally an upgrade i should probably look for a better broom nowadays doesn't get any more cozy than hogsmeade house elves are back from your latest flight i want to hear all the particulars good news mr weeks with your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It Wiggly. rides well. Does get a tad shaky at top speed, yep. and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Yep. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, okay. truly. Okay. Uh, is this my shot? Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. It is wonderful to see you back here. Oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. New quest available. Oh, say less. Let's get this shit. Um, right here? Oh yeah, it is right here. Hey, Hello man. again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special ah, price Lee, on the broom for you. Thanks for stopping by. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details? <laughs> <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinder's infiltrating the place. However... If you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. Okay. Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. Um, how far is it? Five thousand, holy shit. All right, let's see. Oh my god. Rather deserted. Oh my god. I hope everything's all right. What happened? I'm over here. Revelio. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually a thank you. Oh, man. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> anyway, don't let it go to your heads. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? Yeah, all right. I'm ready. I've defeated you in two of them already. Excuse me. Oh, it's mannequins. What the fuck? That wasn't too difficult. 
Oh man, we just started. Whoa. This feels a little out of control. Brilliant. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh no, this guy fucked it up. Oh my god. Might be way too much wind out here, but holy fuck, dude. This is going well. What the fuck? There we go. There we go. There we go. If I do say so myself. Easy. Rough, rough start, but brilliant. You know, I'm getting there. Yeah. Missed one, but fuck it. Okay. Just another, but fuck it, it's all right. Oh, wiggly. Made it. Oh. oh. I missed the balloon, but you know, we're not focusing on that just yet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did anyone else see that? What you gotta say now? That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. There's been fun competitors runs in your family. Will you keep running the courses? Any plans to play Quidditch team? It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here. Fifth year. You're an asset to our house. Oh, man. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Let's see. I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. Of course. <laughs> Ruby wins again. <laughs> I had 30 minutes to spare and she still wins. Oh my god. Holy shit, boy. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the, the last upgrade kind of made it worse. Unless it was because of. Well, I mean, we were at the ocean, so it could be the wind. That's my favorite test flyer. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Mm -hmm. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. Hey, let's go. Good for Mr. Weeks. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Oh, and level up. Hell yeah. Okay, so I'm assuming I gotta get the, the side uh important missions out before i continue i can do this i can do this they will want to help oh yeah i forgot is this where we're meeting the centaurs well they don't exactly know we're coming so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise i suppose 
Once we tell them about the snitches, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- Uh-oh. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Whoa. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care! From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Damn. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Oh, man. Buddy's getting bitch. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me. Golden I... Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Okay. Huh? I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? I trust in centaurs and all things, he was annoyingly cryptic. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. Now what's going on? Are you ready to put an end to Halo? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them. 
See what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to... Oh my god. Them. Okay, well two of them are over here, so... What are these first? Um, in here? Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs Damn. and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. I hope it's not too late. Now to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Uh, okay, there should be one closer too. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Yeah, but, but, but please tell me you didn't take it. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you know who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Yeah. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Hollow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before <coughs> okay. Mr. Hill returns. Where were they? 
We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow, as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, no. I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core, still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again, but do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Okay. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Beckel's friends. Now to find Natty. Natty, Natty! Where or oh, where are you? to be late she said she was going to the hogshead perhaps i'll find her there yep she's been captured time for a jaunt i'd say Be around here somewhere. Come on, dude, jump. Oh, my God. Oh, my without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Velio will show me where she was taken. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Footprints led to this room. There must be another Oh, should I find uh, because the book of poems? Fine. Love letters. Okay. I'd better be 
make sure I'm not seen. Oh my god, come on. Enough to come in here alone. Just keep an eye out. Useless when supplies run low, though. Always a bit nervous when hmm. the stocks aren't brimming. Nothing even worth stealing in Marlon Weed. Oh, what's going on? Oh yeah, he's clapping everyone. And you. What was that? A lamb to pay for your deed. Oh my goodness. There it is. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. <gasps> Revelia. over here Speak to her again. Oh, this is serious. Ah. 
Brother literally regenerated his health. What the fuck? Um, he must be here somewhere. Book of poems that was taken from Agabus Philbert. Oh, there we go. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. <laughs> yeah, Your that helps me. Was not able to summon it. It must be blocked by something. nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our okay, own. Okay, then. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. <laughs> Oh, 
Um, I think it was here, right? Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Halo once. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isko Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashwinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. The authorities haven't been much help. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Corrupted? Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Okay. Now, that should be all the main side missions. Hogsmeade, here I come. Right? Oh, man. All right, let's see. Wonder if I'm safe to explore in that. Now, what are we doing here? You made it. I take it this means you had some luck at the library. It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive, especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Oh, let's check it out. Revelio. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Revelio. That's just the way they are, dude.
What is this? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Before we go there... Oh my god, there's too much shit here. There we go. Anyone who hears it mad. Oh, wow. If the moonstone is here and so are whoopers, I wonder if we protect it. this thing again holy fuck that's why am I not surprised first the foopers and now this Circle, 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 circle. Or circle. We need oh. to find out those spinners. Revenue. Okay. And then this one. Way across. <laughs> oh, I see it. Wait, what? Lumos, Lumos. Okay. This one? Hey, how are you?
look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Shall we take a closer look? You read my mind. close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. And so we did what the roof was alone to do. We never thought it was so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. Very I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here. Assuming this is where the moon is. Oh, she's a nice girl. We found it. It's like staring, but well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Okay. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were in the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. How's your grand doing, by the way? Nothing keeps grand down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. <laughs> Her face. is to see even one they only ever happen under a full moon though i suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal all part of the dance no one pattern is ever the same though we'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it can't wait to tell Gran i've managed to see not one but two moon calf dances she'll be jealous you've seen this before it was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Huh? Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... Well, here you seem hesitant. You need to tell me. I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead more money i suppose i'd finally had enough i freed high wing and we ran we'd flown for ages when i spotted moon calves dancing below and we landed oh. to watch them it felt like an omen a good one a sign that the worst was over 
What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed Highwing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. <gasps> I come from a family of poachers. Oh. I can't believe you didn't tell me. Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. Okay, I mean, that's understandable. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidgets lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Okay. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. Oh, new quest available. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> when am I gonna play the main shit? And it looks, yeah, for sure we're not gonna finish it tonight. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. <sighs> ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <sighs> news travels quickly. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them and then he was gone. And it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would that's still why be the alive mom doesn't today. Like it. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. 
Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Revenia. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so what's next? Wait, what? Oh, so I didn't get an update? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Okay, I've talked to all these dudes. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. If I want to drill in my mind, I have something to give you. Wait, no, all this I've already done. to open the mat the mail oh 